Greetings, galactic warriors of the new earth ascending, rising through the frequencies of higher dimensional realms. Today we had many massive, intense, powerful waves of higher dimensional frequencies coming in. This energy is spinning in and spinning out. It's merging all timelines. We're filling this through our sacred vessel. Today I was blasted in such an intense way. There was a moments I was on my knees feeling the implosion, the explosion, jumping timelines. It was only the voice of my queen, my sacred condor that anchored me back into this realm. If it wasn't for her, I don't know if I'd be here right now to do this transmission. And the intensity of these frequencies, this resonance, is preparing us for this 1212 activation portal of the Divine Feminine, also connected with the goddess energies of the Virgin of Guadalupe, and into the 13 energies of this powerful portal on Sunday. So Saturday is the 1212, Sunday the 13, and then 14 is the eclipse, this powerful eclipse and the new moon preparing us for the solstice. Everything that is manifesting and flowing in now is preparing us all for this breakthrough energy, what some call the compression breakthrough, some call the event, some call the rapture, many names of this culmination point, you could call it, of all the timelines merging into this quantum leap, into this singularity, the zero point of all timelines of the space-time continuum and all time loops that has been building for eons now, eons of time, and many infinite timelines for this great event. And many are seeing this anchor point being the solstice on 12-21-2020. But we can say no one knows the exact time, date, or year of what some call the event. But we do know that this solstice is a very important anchor point in the space-time continuum for the way showers, for the star seeds, the star blossoms, the love workers, light workers, all earth angelics to focus their attention, their awareness, their intent on this day to be the most important and critical moment in infinite timelines and in infinite time as we anchor the timelessness into linear time or spatial time, non-linear, into the linear to free humanity from the cycles of birth and death and the cycles of suffering forevermore. So it is up to us to co-create what we want to feel, what we want to see, what we want to be, what we want to experience on the new earth or heaven on earth. So be very clear. Leave your visions in the comments below. Write them in your journals. Tell the great spirit, the universe, the cosmos, the unborn mind of Buddha, which is your true self. With your conscious awareness now, let the eternal light and life know exactly what you want New Earth to look like, to feel like, to experience, and hold that vision for as long as you can, and every day revisit it, expand on it. Everything is in a state of flux, and we build upon every vision and every dream. We are the dreamers and the visionaries of the new timelines, of the new golden age. So step up into your power and into your glory and know that together we can manifest heaven on earth for all sentient beings. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone for your support on Patreon. It's your pledges that are keeping these transmissions being made daily for free for the collective. So we appreciate you all. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can make a pledge at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And today we had our second drawing for our patrons, our supporters, for the another sacred goddess doll that's handmade by my sacred condor out of beautiful colored wool. So I'll post that video later. I also plan on making two more videos today, one for our patrons on Patreon with the white horse and one for the booster activations for the age of aquarius activation on the solstice but with all these time accelerations and time leaps i didn't have a chance today to make those so hopefully in the next couple of days i'll get those out to our people to our 
angelics and i'll be sure to update you all on this channel okay let's get into this now we had a power of 20 hertz amplitude on the schumann resonance chart today if you look at the chart it was you see this white blast of light which was coming in from the 5d gamma waves flowing in we had 145 m 1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours we had a very powerful activation on the ring of fire today in taiwan with a 6.1 with the lemurian energy flowing in of the seven energy and that was at 1319 UTC, 24.763 latitude, 122.01 longitude, 73 kilometers depth. And that was right on the Tropic of Cancer with the Divine Goddess, the Ring of Fire, and the Lemurian energy rising up. We have the 7373 of the 1010 portal, the first portal to my sacred condor. In the crown of Lemuria today, at Sandpoint, Alaska, 4.9 with a 13 of the goddess energy. And then a 4.1 in Sandpoint, Puerto Rico with the Atlantean energy, 3.3. Taiwan had another 4.9. Tonga, 4.3 with the 7. South of Fiji Island, right on the Tropic of Capricorn, 5.4 with a 9 energy, 578 kilometers depth. The Aleutian Islands, also in the crown of Lemuria, 4 5 with a 9. And then in the sacred portal, South America, right above the Tropic of Capricorn, with a 4.5, also 9 energy. And that was in the sacred Andes Mountains, where our sacred condor flies high. Indonesia on the Ring of Fire, 5.0. Tonopah, Nevada, 3.0. And then in the sacred portal, Tajikistan, where the three sacred mountains, the holy mountains, come together. Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain, Kun Lun Mountain, and the Himalayan Mountains with a 4.2 of the 6, 1633 UTC, 37.128 latitude, 71.614 longitude, 37 into the 73. In India today, we had a 4.3. And again, in the Aleutian Islands, in the crown of Lemuria, 3.8 with the 11 energy. The ring of fire, totally activated, totally lit up again today. And this is synchronizing with the eclipse, the ring of fire eclipse of the total eclipse on the 14th. So keep anchoring into the grid, anchoring into Pachamama and the crystalline core of the earth of Gaia. And keep going through and through and through until we totally break through the compression breakthrough in this now moment we start today's first transmission from divine bro star of the light michael love the event 2020 massive light wave headed for earth strong ascension symptoms reported earth alliance space weather update 12 9 2020 the earth alliance is closely monitoring a powerful solar ejection that's headed straight for the planet right now Estimated to impact the surface in the early morning hours of 12-10-2020. The Pleiadians say this is a prelude of things to come as Earth moves back into the light of the central sun and ever closer to the new golden age of light. The sun is experiencing strong reactions right now due to the high frequency cosmic particles coming from the galactic core. At the same moment, a large coronal hole in the southern active region is turning Earth-facing which will intensify inbound geomagnetic storms even more across the globe. Strong seismic activity is expected to occur all across the planet over the next three Earth days as the super blast of light smashes into Earth's tectonic plates. Solar wind speeds are climbing this evening and expected to reach a strong level of 800 kilometers per second over the coming hours. Earth's space weather agencies have issued a strong G3 geomagnetic storm watch for the 10th of December and the KP index is forecast to move into the red zone. The Earth directed light blast is already affecting the empathic star seeds of planet Earth as light bodies all around the world brace for light body impact. This inbound solar light wave contains literal nano sized metallic gamma particles 
traveling at millions of miles per hour that strip right through the cells of the physical body container, transforming the carbon atoms into crystalline atoms. These high-frequency light particles contain packets of intelligent information that instantaneously recodes all DNA in their path to a more complex order. Stand by as Earth undergoes a super DNA upgrade over the next 72 hours. Pleiadian Council on High to ease the impact of this powerful light wave on the layered body system. Be sure to ingest only light natural energy foods and drink lots of pure water. Stay grounded in nature, meditate, do breath work, and use crystals to channel this light through the body. Take it easy for the next 72 hours and sleep if you can. The Delta REM sleep state of consciousness is required for this light to be successfully integrated into the cells of the physical body. Great one. From heaven to earth we came down to hold large amounts of light in our bodies on behalf of all humanity until they are all able to hold this light for themselves. This is the primary work we are doing. Each time the light came we took a deep breath. We withstood the light and integrated it all into our being. For this grand purpose did we come to earth. We shall anchor even more this divine light to the earth so that all beings of this world can live in the light forevermore. All hands on deck, brace for light impact, and don't forget to breathe. Steady as we move even closer to the golden new era of light foretold of old. Thank you for coming to earth at this great time and for all you are doing. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing as this massive light wave hits the surface. From 5dearthproject.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Mission Upgrade, December 10, 2020. Planetary Conjunction, the Arcturians. As the light metamorphosis continues, we see great upgrades occurring in all levels of your reality. We see your human light mission expanding as your world is awakening to a higher dimensional reality. As your DNA awakens, know your Gaia mission is expanding to a whole new level. Be open to visions and insights as your mission is now before you, your present moment, your future as your visions expand. For many feel the inner calling to particular roles as the path of knowing will become clearer, dear one, to see the light path ahead. Make the intention to see the next chapter of your journey, to receive, integrate, awaken the expansiveness of your life mission, for the multidimensional upgrades are here, light family. As you tap into the galactic light network, as you upgrade, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Celia Fenn, the 1212 Sagittarius portal is approaching. We are feeling the energy rise as the blessings of the Divine Feminine flow to the earth. The 1212 is a time to celebrate abundance and the Goddess energy with gratitude. On the higher levels, we are realigning with the solar and galactic energies very powerfully in preparation for the bridge that the Feminine Christ will provide in 2021. The timeline of the Magdalene and the Cathars will be reactivated and the gentle and pure energy will return to Earth. Once again, the people will be guided by love and compassion and the higher golden light of the Christ Consciousness. As we approach 1212, it is good to detach from the chaos out there and align with inner peace and the flow of the Divine Feminine. And today from Isis Channelings, Timeline Switching, Total Rewiring, Energies of the Rebirthing Gateway of December 1221, Goddess Isis Gateway are already upon us as we interface with the zero-point, shape-shifting energies of the Great Central Sun, this might be experienced as a complete disintegrating of your being, like each atom of your being is pulled apart, cleansed, cleared, purged of the old stories, pain, disappointments, and suffering to be woven together into a higher vibrational frequency that which you intend to achieve. This is a total rewiring in progress, the DNA upgrade in alignment with your intended consciousness and soul purpose and felt particularly in the spine, as though it has been dismantled and then regrouped. This is the Omega, completion of a cycle and beginning birthing of the new spiral of consciousness. Also, the upgrades on the right side of the body, especially eyes and solar, are noteworthy. As the sacred masculine undergoes accelerated upgrades, 
Sacral will no doubt be facing a purging as this is, after all, a birthing, rebirthing gateway of the new sun, sun, Horus. Higher aspect of Osiris, that is, creation of new consciousness, coinciding with solstice at Golden Gate, Gate of God. Not only we, but Gaia too is feeling these light bombardments as the Schumann resonance spiked yesterday, which would further add to the symptoms we are experiencing. Heavy head, flu-like symptoms, drowsiness, dizziness, lack of appetite, hydration, rest, and grounding help. But of particular interest are the opportunities of experiencing switching of timelines being presented. This happens as the zero point allows us to navigate through multiple node points of reality, which I believe is just a trailer of what is to come. That is the opportunities that now of co-creating a whole new structure and foundation of new consciousness. Again, stressing the fact that we are in an extremely significant corridor, which allows us to co-create a timeline, reality, frequency, outcome of our choosing, lock and load. The energies of the 22 are in evidence. Keep your intention sharp for co-creation and shape-shifting are here and now. Be light in light and joy. IsisChannelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Maureen Moss. The energies are mounting, emotions are scattered, divinity pulsing through the sun, the sun is spinning out spirals of code, sleep challenging to come by, tears leaking from my eyes without a thought, a dive into depression, questioning God, have no questions, and then a shift into being enfolded by love. Wow, what a time of feeling everything and witnessing alchemy. And from a girl in the universe, huge incoming energies now affecting the full head area. Very strong, heavy pressure with these energies, full crown and third eye upgrades and activations. We are coming into bigger and bigger energies daily, leading up to the 12th and the 14th. Please listen to your inner knowing with these energies. Your food needs will be changing. For some, it will be to things you haven't ever wanted before. Listen to your cravings and follow those. You are changing and so are your body's needs. Also, sleep is changing. We are learning we don't need as much. Yet another day it will feel like we need more. Sleep when you can. Rest when you are called. For bigger activations like these, you may need to randomly sleep for an hour during the day to acclimate the energies. That's okay. That's our new normal. We are in it now. These energies are leading our way. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You got this. You are divine after all. Your time is now. 8-8 eight, eight, coming in. A girl in the universe.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, servant of Yahweh. The truth is setting you free to sit on your throne. The purification process of removing third party attachments from your alchemical birthrights as a creator with the Most High is complete. The royal bloodline and royal DNA of the tribe of Judah is now restoring into holy order as first. This freedom has also happened to the divine masculine descendants of Christ, activating their truth and desiring a committed sacred union. This is an Akashic lineage clearing of the messianic seed branch to the almighty I am. This is freedom of their hearts to restore their portion in love and holy grail union. The divine masculine Christ are on path home to merge in Heros Gamos union and blend families with their covenant counterpart. This is the end of cheaters, deceit, lust, temptation, and heartbreak and the beginning of your emotional wish fulfillment of loving, open, honest, mutually respectful relationships. God has spoken. Genesis 49.10 The scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Amen. The past life karma that created separation has transmuted enough for the finale of the collapsing of the matrix. God has chosen his people. He is gathering his people for kingdom marriages. This is the first wave of homecoming. You will know me by name. The truth will set you free. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Venus and Scorpio, Sextile, Pluto and Capricorn, 
Pluto and Capricorn square Eris, retrograde in Aries. The square between Pluto and Eris is the third in a series of five. This is an enormous collective aspect that seeks to create a radical shift in society through toppling dictators and those who abuse their positions of power. Individually, too, we are being asked to explore where we need to step up and become an agent of change, expose shadows, deal with fears, with Venus positively engaging with this potent aspect, while also being in Pluto's sign, the power of love can blast away blocks and reassert harmony. Relationships have an opportunity to move to the next level, but we must be prepared to be honest with ourselves and each other. Be your authentic self. In all matters that involve change, closure, endings, and transformation, look deeply into your heart for guidance. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 256, Yellow Solar Warrior. The number 9 is called Solar and its key words are realizing intention and pulse. The ninth day is all about intention, grabbing what you want. It is a very powerful number, so be very careful about your intentions. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck, said the Dalai Lama. Whatever you pursue today, consider if you really need it because the chances of you succeeding are very high. Today is Yellow Warrior and the key words associated with it are intelligence, fearlessness, and questioning. Yellow Warrior days are about taking on a mission. The combination of day and number makes this one of the most powerful days in the Zolkin cycle. If you can take on a quest or go on the warpath, with the number 9 adding fire in your belly, there's no stopping the determined warrior today. The guide for the day is Yellow Human, which represents channeling and free will. This suggests that your mission today is guided by intuition. So don't worry if you don't at first understand what your mission is, it will come to you. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow, Solar Warrior, Kin 256, 10 December 2020, Fearlessly Pulsing Creativity, 10 12 2020 equal 10 12 22 equal 1 3 4 equal 8, 10 Manifestation Authority Power, 1 Leader Original New Beginnings, 3 Holy Trinity Joy Creativity, 22, Master Builder, Architect of Peace. 8, Infinity, Abundance, Source Flow. Kin 256 equal 13 equal 4, Form, Foundation, Earth. Day 9 of the spectacular Yellow Star Wave Spell, where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives, so that our lives become a living work of art. And so we reach day 9 in the final countdown to piercing the veil through to Source. Today we are fully focused on consciously co-creating beauty and harmony through intention. We get to realize what it is to be creatively pulsing forth our radiant creations through our higher intelligence, questioning and rejecting all that is not defined as art. Tone of creation, solar tone 9 in the spiritual realm. Action realizes power pulses, essence, and tension. The ninth day of the yellow star wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience, so we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in making our dreams come true. This is potent manifestation energy today, golden solar-powered energy stored in your solar plexus chakra, your dantian, the middle dantian, the powerhouse of your stored chi, pulsing this electric yellow energy out into the vortex of creation with your commanding intention that you deserve and expect a better life. Shape, create, and construct your powerful energized intentions through this holographic universe to manipulate the ethers in order to manifest your heartfelt desires into your new reality. You are the humanitarian whose dreams unfold the larger pattern of our new world. What powerful dreams are you pulsing into reality? The yellow star wave spell is a divine message to humanity that our new harmonic matrix must be aligned with divine love, grace, beauty, and compassion where our lives are expressed as art. 
Abundance is your birthright. We are the abundance. It is inside of you, not somewhere external. Stop seeking and start opening your gifts. Only then shall you receive your true heart's desires. Today's question is how can I use my creativity to pulse my intentions forward, choosing a world filled with beauty, love, and harmony, where time is art. Go forth, peace-filled rainbow warriors. You are the artist. What are you choosing to paint on the canvas of your soul's journey? In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 256, Yellow Solar Warrior, the mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to question. Realizing fearlessness, I seal the output of intelligence. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of free will. So beloved beings of light, use the power of your free will and leave a comment below on what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. And as always, we have a link in the description below the video and the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these. And our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for your support and continued support on Patreon and your donations. Every pledge we get is a vote to keep doing these daily transmissions. And plus, we'll be teaching a lot more and doing guided meditations. We're giving out gifts. We're doing drawings. Many things coming to our Patreon people and those support our mission. And then ultimately... This will help us to bring to fruition and manifestation the Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community. But first things first, brothers and sisters of the light, we got to pay our bills. So we're about halfway to where we need to be for our daily expenses. So thank you everyone for your continued support. And if you'd like to support our work and mission, you can do so and make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. We'd like to thank and welcome Divine Sister of the Light, Nikki Erdley, for your pledge and support on Patreon. Much appreciated, Divine Sister, and thank you all for continuing to support us with your monthly pledges. And these pledges start at $5 a month, which is the cost of a cup of coffee. And we put these out daily. It takes several hours a day to bring these transmissions, to create them, edit them, record them, upload, update the website, all these things. So we appreciate all of you that have been helping us to keep these flowing and going for the collective and for this great mission of heaven on earth, the new earth, a whole. So we're going to end today's transmission with a very powerful mantra, creator state decree from our divine sister of the light, Sandra Walter. So really feel into the energies of these decrees when we read them. And as you read them to yourself, the energy that manifests in your physical vessel, in your body, mind, and energy body. I am clear, free, and aligned with source. Heart center brighten, strengthen, and amplify the force and power of pure Christ light, which dispels all distortions instantly and completely from my world, I honor and activate the unified law of divine love across all expressions of self from ascensionpath.com. Before I bid you all adieu, forgot to mention that the winner of today's drawing on Patreon of the Goddess Doll is Fiona Tumulty. Tumulty. So congratulations, Fiona. We'll be sending you a email with details on where to ship this little beautiful work of art from my sacred condor at lunagoddessart.com. So have a beautiful and blessed day. Keep anchoring in these higher dimensional codes, these frequencies, these waves of light through your rainbow bridge, through the central channel, as your toroidal field is lit up with the higher dimensional energies of the central sun, the great sun, the Hunabku. And for Hanukkah, we will say Hunabku also symbolized in the Torah, the Zohar, 
which means brilliance or bright light, what Confucius would say, bright virtue, the brilliant infinite light of your highest true divine expression and experience of pure bliss consciousness. Keep walking your sacred path with heart, most powerful warriors of the light. We love you all. Namaste.